Hello, Orion Addicts. Another Wednesday midweek edition, the 15th of April. Um, I did some work over the weekend. Monday it was pouring rain, but it was warm, so I did some epoxying, and uh, I'll show you what I got to. Plus, we're going to do a little show and tell, but first we'll show you what we did. We got a floor in Aurea. Yep. Now up front here, that's got two two layers of uh, 13 ounce glass going opposite directions. Um, tabbing everything in. I glued the, uh, I epoxied the plywood sole down. The bottom side of it is primed. It was primed like the inside of the bilge area. This is the red cutout lines for access to the bilge, but I'm not going to cut that now. There's no water in here, so no need to even open the bilge. <clears throat> now, around the edges here, there was a gap between the top of the plywood and the, and the hull. And I used this. Six ounce strips of um, fiberglass, and I layered them in intermittent with the 13 ounce glass to get a nice, fairly smooth um, contour, uh, and, and a, a, a point where everything's going to fare across like it did here. So that's what we did. Unfortunately, with how hard it rained, the, uh, the hatch up here had a little pin leak that with a temporary dome on it to drip down there. I don't want to do any epoxying over water because <clears throat> this boat's dry as a bone and it's going to be solid as sears. But that's what I did. That's the glass I used. And another thing, my father had a question, so we're going to answer Dad's question. This here is Pink Panther Foam. It's a Pink Panther Foam. It's got a layer of 24 ounce glass woven roven on the outside of it. That's exactly what I used up here when I built the butterfly hatch. Okay, this is all. 12 ounces of glass, and you can see the Pink Panther foam down here. So, that's what we did. That's what we used. This is just the foam, no glass. The glass stops here, as is this inside piece. It's going to get glass wrapped around, and then we're going to cut this out so that we have an insert for the, for the flexi on the outside. So there's where I got on the floor. Like I said, it's all tapered up so that the, uh, so the point is nice and smooth trans transfer. But I'm very pleased with how it's going. Unfortunately, the weather is horrendously cold. And if anybody else has any questions, Feel free to ask. Other than that, everybody stay safe. Take care. See ya.